Eat right, exercise, and get enough sleep. It's great advice for healthy living. When you're living with type 1 diabetes, that same advice holds true. Finding the balance is critically important, especially when it comes to balancing blood sugar levels. Madison Salinger, a registered dietitian with the Diabetes Research Institute, provides education and tools with one purpose in mind. I want the patient to find the simplest way that they can you know, like have their glucose control right while still maintaining a healthy diet. If you have type 1 diabetes, having a dietitian on your team can be a huge help, but you will need to make some adjustments as well. Get into that habit of, of, of looking at your schedule and, and planning ahead, right? So what is your going to schedule look like? Um, when can you bring home, uh, food from home? When can you eat out? Um, where are you going to eat out, right? Um, looking ahead of your portion size, maybe looking ahead of the food labels, maybe it's the nutrition um, label online. Um, so plan ahead, look at that, and, and that certainly is gonna give you a little bit more peace of mind, you know, with when it comes to diet and, and blood sugars. Madison says it's not a diet per se, but it is about keeping an eye on your carbohydrate intake. That's because not all carbs are created equal when it comes to sugar control. For instance, did you know if you're talking about citrus, an orange is a better choice than orange juice? And when it comes to grains, lentils beat white bread hands down. It's all about how much sugar is absorbed directly into the bloodstream. Of course, it's not just about what you eat, it's also about moving your feet. Exercise has shown you know, like it's something that's gonna help you have your blood sugar definitely under better control, right? It also helps lower your blood sugar. Um, so yes, diet and exercise are definitely one of those things that kind of like walk together and, and you certainly want to be doing both of those things. So set goals, but make sure they are reasonable. Don't start by trying to run a marathon, take a daily walk instead. If you hate vegetables, don't commit to eat them at every meal every day. Start with a few times a week and work your way up. The key is finding a plan that works for you and sticking with it.